Hey everyone, welcome. If you want a guide to a simple guide to get to that boss that you saw in the trailer from From Software Elden Ring, where there's like this moose, blue moose flying in the air or something, that was probably the coolest thing I saw in the trailer and I was dying to see it. And so this is, I was lucky to find it really soon in my playthrough, so I'm gonna show you how to get there. Okay, you have a big bear there to the tree, <laughs> next to the tree, so that's one of the easiest things for you to know, but basically this is um, the map of Lingrave, I'm sorry. Trying to show it too fast. This is where you fight the dragon, there's the lake here. And then, like, I know that there is this side of grace, so you can just teleport here if you want. I don't know if there's anything around here, I haven't found it yet, if there is one. But basically you want to go here. So it's called Siofra Riverwell, you can see the, the big tree around here. And this is where you want to go. Okay, like I said, you have a big bear here that you can fight or not, and then you're gonna have this entrance. So as soon as you get here, you're just gonna go on top of the lift, and this will be the longest lift you've ever been in your entire life. In any From Software game, probably three or four times longer than anything I can remember. But this will take you to probably the most unbelievably beautiful area in all of Souls games at least that I can remember. I haven't finished the game yet, so I'm, I'm only like 15 hours in. But I wanted to share this with you because, I don't know, you might be getting close to the end of the game and you might have found this area still, and this is absolutely incredible. As you can see here, just look, it's gorgeous, it's absolutely insane. But this takes forever to get there. As you can see, it's <laughs> it still has a little time to go. And like this, okay, if you don't want spoilers for this area, I'm gonna tell you right away what you need to find that boss, okay? Because that boss is not active right away. You need to do a certain thing. So before I go through the area, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. There's a side of grace here, but what you need to do is like, this is like the Abyss Watchers, like um, in the um, area f before, you know, the Abyss Watchers, you had to like light three fires so that the door open and in here it's pretty much the same but instead of three it, it's eight so you have to find eight fires eight it's like columns a bit like this columns like this where you're gonna have like fires here to activate and you have to find eight of them once you find eight there's like this big steps and there's like four fires from one side and four from the other you're just gonna go through those steps and you're gonna find that boss in case you don't care about spoilers, then just watch the rest of the video. I'm gonna just use a horse to get past through everyone. I will not show you all the eight, you know, all the eight places that you need to, you know, to, to activate all the eight fires, because that is already done. And like I said, I just found this boss and I wanted to share with you. So I'm just gonna show you basically the entrance. Okay, I have to call the elevator. I don't think you're gonna have to. When you get here, I think the elevator will already be there. So this will take some time as well because this is gonna be a very long elevator. But I'm telling you, like, it's totally your choice if you wanna see the rest of this or not because you're just gonna watch the most beautiful place ever. Okay, so this one is shorter and um, I think I still remember exactly how to go straight to the boss without losing much time. And that's where, what we're gonna do right away. So let's um, bring our lovely horse with us. And uh, we're just hopefully are gonna try to get there without dying. I will try to show at least one of the, you know, one of the fires that you need to act activate so you know what you need to do and that that is 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 just one right in front of me okay and it's as simple as this like as you can see there there's like four on each side so every time you light one of these one of those will show up and you have this entire area where there will be eight of them they're not that hard to find but it's kind of a long area so it's going to take you some time after you get all of the f eight fires you basically just come through here and as you can see there, at the end, you're gonna find this one here. 
which is which will be our boss. Only after you get those eight fires, you're gonna trigger the fight, and then all you have to do is um, press the tr the triangle, and it will take you to the boss fight. The rest it's up to you. I hope you enjoyed this guide, and I'll see you in the next guide. Thank you very much. Adios.